Ambassador, Social Media Director, and Sales and Marketing for Natural Splendor. I went natural a little over six years ago after I had my first child. I just got increasingly lazy about my hair. Um, between being a new mom and going back to work and home life, it just was too much. It was like, ain't nobody got time for that. Heating and pressing and relaxing, and it was just too much. Um, so I decided like, it's all or nothing. You're either gonna keep it and do something with it or you're gonna cut it off. And so I called a natural hairstylist that I knew and I booked an appointment and said, let's do it. And she did that. She just did it and chopped it all off. And I was good with it. You know, I left there, I felt empowered. And um, two days later, I went back to the salon and I just broke down. It was just too much. Um, I didn't recognize myself in the mirror. I couldn't find anything to wear. Earrings didn't look right. I just was really having a come to Jesus about who I was and what my hair meant to me and how my hair, I identified with that. I was the girl next door and all of a sudden I wasn't that girl anymore. Um, I had a swoop bang. Now my entire face was exposed and I was greeting the world in a way that I had never greeted it before. I felt very Afrocentric for the first time in my life and um, if it wasn't for her kind words and she brought her manager in to comfort me and to kind of lift me up and tell me, you know what, this is who you are, you have to embrace who you are, you're beautiful, this is your hair. Um, I, I really felt like they helped me get through the process. Um, so I left there and I knew I had made a good decision to not put any more chemicals in my hair and um, six years later I'm happy I did it.